Today's Nightwatch video is going to show you how you can get mobile web testing set up and running locally. Today's video will need you to have the latest Nightwatch installed. Today's video is going to show you how to do things mostly on emulators. While this can be really useful, I highly recommend that you at least do some of your testing on real devices as there can be differences between emulators and real devices. To make sure we have everything we need, we're going to start by using npm init nightwatch at latest. Make sure you use the at latest part. npm can be over the top with its caching of tools and it's always best to use at latest. For this example, when selecting the testing type, I have selected all of the items available with the spacebar. You can use all the defaults for the questions until we get to the question about target mobile platforms. I'm on a Mac, so I'll select iOS and Android as platforms to test. Nightwatch will start installing all its dependencies. You'll be asked a few more questions in a minute once those are done. If you already have a Nightwatch config, you can either overwrite it or write a new one. I'll write a new one. If you don't have the Java home environment variable set, you will need to tell us where the local JDK is installed. Now you can select what devices you want. I don't have an Android phone, so I'll use an emulator. Nightwatch will launch the emulator to check that it has everything in place. In this case, because I selected Firefox earlier, it knows the emulator won't have it and will install it for you. Now let's start by writing a test. We need to make sure that we understand the workflow that we want to automate. We're going to load our site, bstackdemo.com, click add on a phone, then check that it went into our basket and that the value is correct in the basket. Let's go to our, our IDE. Here we're going to create a new directory called E2E and then we're going to create a new test file. I will call it bstackdemo.js. We'll write it so that it loads the page and then we'll go look for locators. I use the Firefox DevTools to find the locators on my first pass of the test. Please watch our previous videos linked above on how to create page objects to refactor them later. It's better to write your test than refactor them into page objects. Now that we have the actions complete, let's go do an assert to make sure that everything works as expected. Here we will write the assert using the expect API built into Nightwatch.js. As mentioned earlier, don't worry about the silly looking locators at the moment. We'll make sure that they're better when we go back and refactor them. I always run the test in a desktop browser first to make sure that everything works as expected. This is because mobile tests can be a little bit slower as they have to start up an entire OS. It's always better to fail fast, so let's do it in desktop first.
Now let's run this test in a mobile browser. Just for clarity, I've sped up the video so that you can see the results much quicker. One problem that you will run into once you've done all of this is that you won't be able to scale quite so easily as you would with desktop browsers. I highly recommend that you use a third party to do this, someone like BrowserStack, to expand your testing so you can get the test suites running as quickly as possible. And thank you for watching this video. To make sure you don't miss future videos, please click the subscribe button now.